Yo, what's up? So today we're gonna check out how to create a random preset generator or just a glitch sound maker for any synth that you have. Let's check it out. Okay, so first let's start from a simple synthesizer. I'm gonna go under instruments and I'm gonna load the bass synthesizer from the creative extension. Uh, you can do this to any synth, including plugins, but it's gonna take us a while to set it up. Then you can save it as a preset. So let's just see it on a synthesizer that doesn't have so many controls. Now, first of all, we do have the, let me go search under max for live the old school device randomizer. This is from the max for live Essentials pack. And here you can click map, click on the title of the device. It's only going to map it and it's going to continuously randomize. But you can also go under the trigger, keep hitting randomize to create this random states of all the parameters. But as you can see, it doesn't map all of it. So it's quite limited. There are other max for live devices on max that does some great randomization. I think most of them cost money. I couldn't find a free one. So let's make our own with the built in expression control. So I'm going to load this expression control and we're going to change the source to random. Let's change it to remote output range zero to hundred and random hundred. We're going to set all of them up the same way like this. And I already have a preset for it called randomizer. Let's load that. And then all of them will be on random. Now, and this part takes, depends on the synths, might take a while. We're just gonna start mapping all of them to all the controls. So one by one, gonna map it to all the controls in the synthesizer. Let's duplicate that now that we ran out and we're gonna continue mapping. So this might take a while. I'm gonna speed up the video I'm going to see you in a second. Okay, so now I have everything mapped besides the global volume control. Now, every time I hit the note, it's going to randomize everything. Before I do this, I highly recommend, I urge you to load the limiter. I already have my limiter set up to some default preset. You can copy this if you want. I would recommend to pick and maximize and just make sure you drop down, the thresh, drop down the threshold a tiny bit. Very important. Okay, nice. Now, every time I click a note, it's going to give me a different preset. Now, first of all, let's make the option. Let's create an option that we can turn off the randomizer. If we find a preset we like, we can save it or we can continue using it. And we also want to capture the glitch sounds. So let's first of all, I'm going to group all of this together. Let's fold all the randomizer by double clicking on the titles. And I'm gonna also group, hold shift, select all of them, group these, command or control G, group this to their own thing so we can turn off the randomizers. Let's open up the macros of the main rack. The crystal we just need one. Let's map this to macro one, the on off, so we can turn off the randomizers. And let's call it randomizer on off, color it. Nice. And now we can turn them off. So I can create a, let's say I like this sound, turn off the randomizer. Now I have this. I want to save it as a preset. I just click save on the actual synthesizer. It will save it without the randomizer. Let's call it like a glitch one. And now when I load it, it's going to be its own preset. So that's how we can create random presets. But as you can hear, because we're also randomizing the pitch and the envelopes and stuff, it's a lot of glitchy sounds. Which is cool. But uh, what if we want to capture those glitchy sounds as samples? So there is a new release from Robert Henke, one of the creators, one of the pioneers of Ableton, and created amazing devices like the granulator and the pitch loop and some awesome other stuff you can find on his website. He just released a device called Sample Capture. Let's load this up. And this will automate, first of all, I don't know why it defaults to this dark skin. Let me go dark and then back to light. Here we go. And this will automatically capture our sampling that we do with all this glitching. So first of all, I'm gonna go Right here on my desk, let me delete this. I just experimented. On my desktop, I created a folder called Glitch. I'm gonna drag it right here. So it's going to be the destination. 
Here we can set the threshold of when it's going to automatically start recording. We can create automatic kind of naming for our files. Let's turn on auto write. I'm going to arm it. And now I'm just going to hit, um, uh, let's play something. And it recorded this. If we go to my back to, to the glitch. Oh, let's write it. Here it is. Here's the file. Now we don't hear it because the through is off. So let's turn on the through so we can actually hear the sound it's passing through it. Nice. Write it. Here it is. So it's very easy. Right? Here it is. So it's very easy to capture these sounds thanks to this free sample capture max for Live device. I'll post the link uh, in the video description. Nice. So then I would go and save this entire thing and I would have a bass randomizer, which I already have, like a bass, the name of the instrument, this is called bass. Uh, and I can do this for any type of built-in synths. I did do it for the wavetable randomizer. The wavetable, not everything is mappable. So I also had to create a custom max for Live device to allow us to map everything. This is just a custom. It doesn't even have an interface, but uh, it allows to map things that are unmappable by default, can modulate with max for live So we have this extra thing here to map everything in the wavetable. I also created an echo verb randomizer right now guys this stuff are not offered on my website or anywhere these were specifically designed for the glitch techniques workshop i'll leave a, a link if anyone wants to check it out you can even check out 20 minutes for free from this just watch the the workshop but these were some tools that i created specifically for that workshop including this echo and reverb randomizers uh, these randomizers also have rise and fall kind of attack and release so as I click on it, you see they kind of glide into the new spots. And here in the middle, you can load whatever instrument you want or just another randomizer like the wavetable randomizer. And creates all sorts of crazy sounds, capture them or turn off the randomizers to save them as a preset. Now you can also do this for synthesizers, but again, the, the bigger, more elaborate the synthesizer is, the more crazy it would be. Now, a lot of synthesizers already have, like Serum, already have some randomizers. You can already note, right? So we can rand note on randomizer. We can use those type of things. If you want to use what we, the expression control, let's load the randomizer preset. We just have to open up the configure section configure whatever you want to randomize so just click on it to add all of it there's also a way to auto populate if you change one of the options.txt files i'm not going to go into that right now uh, but you can auto populate uh this configure with uh, plugins and i'm just clicking on them wow that's a bug you saw how it rose visually anyway adding all of these and once you have all of those you can just map those to your a device randomizer okay and then you can also do it to plugins save it and you have random random preset generator or just glitch glitch sound creators for plugins so it can be very useful especially if you want to create kind of a small sample pack for yourself or just hit it until you find a sound you like and start randomizing if you are want more usable presets I would recommend maybe not mapping the pitch section, so the pitch maybe stay a bit more solid and the entire timber quality of the sound changes, not on, uh, not the pitch, but uh, you can, as, as you can see, you can completely go crazy. Remember to put a limiter. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>